handle with ice cream. He said, what, what, and he saw it too. And after I called my sister, we got up and we went outside and I called the 911. My dad got in his truck and he left me there with my mother dead. Look at the jury. I want to ask you, did you have anything at all to do with the death of Martha? No, I did not. No further questions. You walked out of that bedroom? I don't think I went down there. You don't think you went down to the bedroom? I don't think so. You never looked in that bedroom? I don't know. You never looked at Martha laying in the bed dead? I don't know. I thought you had a good memory of February 17, 2018. I don't recall. Okay. Once she's out of the picture, especially by accident, the house is his. That money coming in is his. He's done. Easy. No other plausible explanation. No one else wanted her dead. No one else would need it to appear to be an accident. No one else is worried about a 26-year-old cold case where the spouse, who's about to lose spousal privilege, could testify against him. So, Martha is doing drugs with a strange person. And then apparently something terrible went wrong. I don't know whether she wanted more and couldn't get it. I... Count number one, open murder. We find the defendant guilty of <laughs> Yes. Yes. Like I said, when I lost my mom, I lost my stepdad. You know, I think what happened to her, how it happened to her, it makes me so angry and everything has just served today for her justice. It doesn't replace the hole that we have of the mother that we deserve to still have. What do you want people to know in wake of this? There's woman power in this. We're always going to stand together.